Hey guys, so today we are going to be creating this environment in Dash and specifically using the object masking feature. There's a lot of neat things, but the object masking is definitely going to help you kind of get what you need for kind of this cool little scene that I built here. So let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Okay, we're going to be starting a brand new level, and I just did that just by going File, New Level, Empty World. And let's go ahead and add some lighting to this. We're going to go here, Window, Environment Mixer. And then we're going to hit Create Skylight, Create Atmosphere, Create Sky Atmosphere, Volumetric Clouds, and Height Fog. That's up to you if you want to add any of those, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, then we're going to go ahead and click on the dash icon. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create a quick, simple terrain. We're gonna go create terrain. Um, I'm gonna make this pretty flat. Uh, that's already like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're just gonna turn this to zero, zero. Uh, turbulence, we'll put like 0 0.01 maybe. Uh, height, let's do zero just to kind of give it a little bit there. No turbulence seed. All right, then we're going to go here. We're going to grab a dirt material. Uh, sure, let's throw that on there. And let's up the scale of that to, for me to see the scale, though, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to close that. Uh, let's bring in a bench. Let's just see here. I'm going to bring this right down. And see the scale there so it's always good to like look at kind of scale of what you're going to be doing so obviously that scale looks way too big so we're going to bring up the uv scale here let's go like 10 maybe let's see is that still too big uh probably still a little too big let's go maybe like 15 that's uh maybe like 12 yeah that around there that looks good perfect Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So let's start setting up the scene right now. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to have a bench here and we're going to add a garbage can beside it. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. So now we got a can and a garbage can here. My zoom is going a little too fast. So let's slow that down. And then let's go ahead as well. And let's bring in a path. There's different paths that we can bring in here. Uh, should we do this one? That's the question. I don't know if I want to do that one. Or, you know what, actually, no. Let's do a regular kind of path. Yeah, like this one here, that kind of looks nice. Something to right there. And let's just start moving this down until we see the whole path there. There we go. And then let's just duplicate this over. That's by holding down Alt and Shift will help you move it over. There we go, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side over here. Perfect. Now that's sinking a little. I don't know why, so that's something to do with the terrain. Let's go take a look at the terrain. That may be the turbulence. If I put that to zero, that does not fix it, actually. It's maybe this height here. Let's put that to zero. There we go. So just doing that, let's see if this is too high now. Let's move that down a tiny bit. I just want it to be like, yeah, there we go. Right there, perfect. Excellent. Good, good, good. Let's turn that off. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is, is I want to scatter some leaves on here. Just to kind of get a really good kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab... Uh, let's grab some leaves. I believe there's some leaves on here. Sure, let's bring this here. 
Now, this is obviously in my own thing, so I can't use the Dash browser. That's in the next update coming. So for now, we're just going to, you can literally put this anywhere you want. So I can put this at zero, 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 so that nobody can see it, but it is there. And I'm gonna actually create a new folder here. Uh, so you can move to, and you can create a new folder. I'm just gonna call this folder instances. Instances like that, just to keep track of where they are. And then what I'm going ahead and do is I'm going to here, I'm going to type in a scatter. Oops. So a surface scatter right there. And then you're going to see here that we have a nice, uh, you know, surface scatter. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab these guys right here. We're going to add the surfaces and I'm going to click on my dry leaves and add that to the scatter. And then there we go. So what I want to do is, is kind of, have this so that it's really in here and not in there. So let's go ahead and play around with a couple of things. Let's get the density up a bit. Kind of like the density like that. That looks good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play with the height value and the feature masking. Okay, there we go. So that's just going to bring that down there. Perfect. Good. So now we got the leaves. Um, ch -ch 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 -ch. Surface line. Let's just do one there. Uh, noise scale. Let's just get a little bit more in there, and we can do a little bit of a fall off. There we go. What happens if I put like one? Oh yeah, there we go. So now we got some nice leaves kind of on. Here, that looks good. Good, good, good. Those leaves may be a bit too, too big. So put the scale up, 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 maybe not, maybe like 0.75. There we go. So that's looking pretty, pretty good. Awesome. All right, so what else do we have here in the city park here? Let's go ahead and add some rocks. Cool. So what we're gonna do is Add some parks or uh, some rocks. So once again, I'm going to move this rock to my instances. I got my thing here. Let's just move it out of the way to like zero, zero, zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the terrain and we're going to type in surface scatter again. And then let's go ahead and grab that. And then we're going to go ahead and add that rock to the scatter there. So that's probably a bit too much. Okay, what we're gonna do is for a surface align, we want this to be at one, and we are gonna sync this by like 0.5. Uh, did I sync that too much? I think I did, there we go. And then what we're gonna do is bring up the density here, a tiny little bit. All right, so this is now where we're going to actually play with some cool features. And I'm going to leave that surface scatter here. What we're going to do here is in the back here, we're going to actually do this watch curve, which is pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and go to the curve tool. And sure, we'll do projection. Why not? You can do like free form projection. Let's just do projection for now. Um, the min spacing is the spacing between points. If you just hold over, it just, yeah. So what I want to do is maybe put that to like 50. Okay. What we're going to do now is let's go ahead and start drawing. We're going to just kind of do like a cool little kind of pattern right here. Excellent. You can see now the spacing there, which is really, really good. I'm going to go hit enter. You can see that projected it right there. So now that I'm done with my curve tool, I'm just going to close it for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to right here, object masking. We're gonna go ahead and click on that and click add it to the curve. There we go. So now we've got that in there. I'm gonna hit keep inside. There we go. And let's go ahead and change the scale, maybe like three. Let's bring down the density a bit. Let's see how it looks from this angle here. Oh, it's looking, it's looking good. There we go. Perfect. 
And then we're going to go ahead and close that. All right, good, 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 good. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get some dead kind of grass in the background there. Let's go ahead and here, and we're just going to look for grass. Let's get some dead grass kind of growing in this area here. Let's go ahead and click here. We're going to click on that and just go ahead and do a scatter on selected. There we go. Okay, so we have our surface scatter here. And you can see here we go. Let's put up the density a bit. Let's go to like 0.8. Get that really, really full. We're going to bring the scale up to like 3. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, proximity mass. So now we're going to add this to the proximity. Let's go to 0.5. Maybe a bit more. Perfect. We're going to up the mesh sampling to like 512, just so we get a little bit better mesh sampling going on. Perfect. What object did I add there? Oh, the surface scatter. Okay, yeah, perfect. Good. And then what I want to do... So we should probably actually rename this. I'm going to call this, just so things don't get confused, this is going to be like surface scatter rock. I just want to make sure that that... Yeah, perfect. Good, good, good. So you can see there what happened there is a little bug that you guys need to understand. is I don't understand exactly what's going on there, but if you... Every time you create a surface scatter, you should probably name it something because when you're adding it, adding it as proximities or object things, it kind of messes up. So let's go ahead and put this to like 0 0.25. Get that a bit closer to those rocks. Perfect. And then I'm going to do the same kind of thing here where I'm going to draw. Uh, Let's actually just use that curve. That's a good idea. Actually, I'm going to go here. I'm going to grab here the scattered grass. I'm just going to be like dead grass. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And then there should be that curve still there. Let me go ahead and grab that curve. Uh, dash curve. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and add that to my uh, object masking. There we go, and let's go and keep inside. Perfect. Now, what we can do, uh, there we go. Boom. So we can spread that out a tiny bit like that. Excellent. Good, 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 good. And that proximity mass, I just want to check that out, make sure that's still, yeah, it's still doing its thing. Good. Perfect. Good. Look at that. That's looking so good. So just off one curve, we're just playing with things right now, which is working really, really well. Excellent. Then what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and add some more grass now. Let's go ahead and add. First, what I want to do is, is maybe add like a little bit more tall grass in this area here. So let's go ahead and grab my thing here. We have this tall grass right here. We're just going to control and scatter on selected. So now we're getting all of those going on there. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put the scale up as well to like 3. Let's put the density to like 0.75. So now you got all this tall grass, but once again, it's going like everywhere, right? Which I really only kind of want it to be kind of in this area here. So we're going to do kind of another draw tool. I'm just going to close that surface scatter. We're going to do this, which is going to be perfect. And then what we're going to do is let's draw another curve. Do another curve tool. There we go. Didn't click there right away. 
Uh, once again, we're gonna do a min spacing of like 20. Uh, let's go like, I think it was like 50 I did last time, right? So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna move this over here and we're gonna hit start drawing. So what we're gonna do is, is just kind of like freeform this over here, like so. There we go, just do that. Kind of do, you can do intricate shapes, whatever you want, doesn't really matter. Let's close that. And now we have another dash curve. So we're gonna call this um, dash curve. Let's go for tall green grass, uh, tall grass. There we go. Which one's this one? This is my original one, right? So this is like rocks and dead grass. There we go. So just make sure to like start kind of, oops, let me do, getting all of these things organized here. So let's go here, move to, we're gonna create here, and then this is gonna be called curves. Boom, there we go. So now that we got our curves right here. So every time we create a curve, we'll put it into there. Okay. You can start seeing things are kind of organizing here. Like you do have your grasses that dash is automatically kind of organizing, which is really nice. All right, I'm going to hit enter to apply that. Um, so now I'm going to select my tall grass. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my tall grass here. I'm going to go here to my object masking. Click on that. I'm going to go ahead and go keep inside. So now you've got this tall grass on the inside, which is really, really nice. That's probably too big. So we're going to go ahead and where's my max scale? Bring that down to maybe like two. Yeah, that's good. That's really, really good. Okay, let's do a fall off here. I think like 0.5. No, it's too much. want to kind of get that going in there a bit. Uh, let's bring the density to 0.8, maybe 0.9. I just want that to be like pretty full. There we go. So now what we're going to do is two with this grass selected. Uh, no, that's the wrong grass. Let me do the dead grass. We're going to add that as a uh, proximity mask. And then we're going to add that. There we go. So now this grass will not be inside there. See, you can see how it's there. And as well, you can change the distance. Right now it's at 0 0.01. We can up that. Uh, da, 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 da. Now we can change the fall off as well because the fall off is going to be both sides there. All right, perfect. Good, 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 good. So that's looking pretty good. I want to up the density of this a bit. A bit more. It's at 0.9. Why is there a plus there? 0.9. There we go. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Now let's put it to fall off a bit. And under the object distance, I want that to come out a tiny, tiny bit. Let's go to like five. Uh, no, let's go to like seven. There we go. Just a tiny, tiny bit. Perfect. Good, 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 good. And then these here, uh, let's bring up that. That may be too big as well. Let's bring that down to maybe 2.5. Enter, there we go. So now we're getting some cool little kind of stuff going on. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's add some regular grass in here. So we're going to go ahead and select the terrain. We're going to grab this. And then let's go ahead and bring that in. And, and control, scatter on selected. There we go. Now we want that to be like pretty dense. But first, before we do that, I'm going to start adding proximity stuff so that it's not kind of going into those areas here. So let's add this, this. We're going to add these. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna go to our proximity mask and, oh, which I believe is this one here. Is this one? Grass clumps, yep. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna go to proximity mask here and add all of those. 
So that should have updated that. Let's see here. Let's put the density 0.7. That is not updating. I just want to make sure I have the right thing selected here with this selected 0 0.7, 0 0.8. Hmm. Something is not working the way. Let me clear that right now. Oh, there we go. Huh. That is very, very interesting. I don't know why it it's not doing that. So let me go here, point nine, like eight five. Get the density up a bit. Okay, let me go here to proximity mask. So we have this, this, and this selected. Proximity mask and add. Okay, let me do a mesh sampling of five one two. Let's get the proximity distance to point five. There we go. Point four maybe. Let's do point three. I just don't want it to be like too close. Point one. So point one brings it right on top, huh? But point two is there. Let me with point two up the mesh sampling. Let's go like one oh two four. There we go. We're still still getting a tiny tiny bit. So we're gonna bring this to like point two five. There we go. Let's go ahead and, all right, with that, I'm going to bring this to 0 0.9 just so we get a little more fuller. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is, um, what do we do? Let's bring up the scale to maybe like 1.3. Nah, it's too much maybe. No, let's keep it at one. Yeah, one's good. All right, so I don't get why when I added this to the proximity. Oh, okay, there we go. I think that's working. No, it's still under there. Hmm. That is very, very interesting. I don't get that. So then let me remove then that. And then what we'll do then is I've got my, my path, which is the tall grass path right there. And uh, that's not the one I want. Maybe that one and add that to my object masking. And we're gonna invert it like so. So now when I have my tall grass, there it is right there. Then what I can do is the distance I can zero right there. If I do like one, there we go. So now it's moving further away, which is really, really good. Perfect. Good. Good, 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 good. I don't know if I want to do that, but we'll see. That may, come on, I just want to try something. We're going to do that. And then what we're going to do is here is, let's go ahead and add another curve. So we'll click on the curve tool here. Let's do this once again, min spacing like 50, start drawing. And then we're going to do something like this. There we go. And then I'm going to hit enter to make sure that's like that. Then what we're going to do is click on the grass again, bring up the scatter. And then we're going to add, let me grab that curve if I can. There we go. I'm going to call this dash curve. And we're going to call this uh, bench area. Area, boom. And then let's move this to my curves move to curves and then we're going to add this around the object masking perfect that's what i wanted to okay excellent so now we've got this area here like that per 
perfect. Let's move this down a tiny bit. There we go. Excellent. All right, let's grab a tree now. I'm gonna grab some trees. Let's see in here if they've got like a cool tree. That's looking pretty cool. here and what we're going to do as well Output mesh. I'm going to rename this to terrain. There we go. Then what we're going to do is grab a scatter, surface scatter. And then with the terrain selected, we're going to add that. And then click on here, add this to it. Perfect. And then we're going to have our curves, dash curve. We want the uh, dead grass. We're going to add that to the object masking, add that. And then we are going to invert. There we go. And then this is where you can play with the lighting guys. So we can go ahead and hit here. Ah. Oh, hold on, where's my light? There it is. And there we go. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to see more tutorials, more stuff, be sure to subscribe. Everybody says subscribe, subscribe, but please thank you to really appreciate it. And uh, appreciate all the, the views that my videos are getting. Thanks very much.